What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Raj, and I'm back from the video. And if you type of the title today, we'll be showing you guys how to find your style, your aesthetic, and your go to look, and how to basically maneuver pieces in and out of your closet. I've seen a lot of the major YouTubers that I follow and I watch do this video a lot, and I've actually had this video on my mind a lot because I'm actually going through an entire style change myself. So I want to give you guys some tips that actually have helped me basically find a new style that I'm going and gearing more towards. But before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, I do make fashion and sneaker related content. So stick around, hit the subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram at Jaden X Monroe. And if you are a returning subscriber, make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so I know that you're enjoying my content. So let's go. Okay, so I have only five steps that basically help you find your style. And I think these five steps are very, very, very effective and essential if you definitely want to find your style because these are five steps that definitely helped me. Okay, so the first, very, very first tip that I'm going to give you guys is you need to go to your closet right now. You need to take out all the items that you have in your closet that you do not wear anymore, that you do not fit anymore, or that you just don't personally like anymore. This definitely helped me. I definitely went through an entire closet makeover. I would definitely went through an entire closet transition where basically I just took out all my old clothes or stuff that I don't like and I put them to the side and then I looked at them in my entire closet and I actually have a lot of stuff that I can actually work with as far as my new style which definitely helped me a lot what this does is also gives you a general sense of the old clothes that you used to wear basically going to your old style and then the new clothes that you have you can build off the same clothes that you already have in your closet if that makes sense because I know in my head that don't even sound right but we're gonna move we move we move now the second step I want you to take inspiration I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people when they hear take inspiration from other people, they basically think that you're trying to copy their style when in fact that is not it at all. Taking inspiration is only basically getting a general idea of how you wanna style your fit. I get a lot of my inspiration from Instagram and Pinterest. Those are the two big fashion archive places that you can go to basically get a lot of inspiration from. Um, Instagram, they have a lot of fashion archive pages. If you guys don't know what fashion archive pages, but they're basically pages where they post either people or sneakers or items that just are very aesthetically pleasing on timelines and they each archive page has a different aesthetic and it looks very nice. Honestly, I'm actually thinking about starting one myself because they're just so dope. But, if you go on Pinterest, Pinterest basically they just take their Instagram photos and they just put it on Pinterest and just kind of make fancy mood boards or whatever, which is going to my third tip, but we're gonna get into that later. Now, also with going into Instagram and getting inspiration, I want you to find five people on Instagram, five fashion influencers on Instagram that you would want to take inspiration from. The five influencers that I have are Cash K, John LaFleur, Za Light, if I'm not saying that right. Fits by Rag and Phil Colfer. If I'm saying all of those names right, I'm sorry if I butchered anybody's name. But those are the five people that I basically look at for my future style and basically styles that I want to take inspiration from. I'm going to insert their Instagram so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, what you're going to do with these five influencers, you're basically going to look at their feed, screenshot any pictures that you actually like the outfit or any similar piece, and you're going to go actually try to find that piece or similar pieces see like one of the one of the influencers they might have a nice little boohoo man jacket if i want to get that boohoo man jacket i would either get the same one or i would different get it in a different color that's basically inspiring you for your next outfit or basically inspiring you for your future style now no when you do that try not to copy their entire outfit or their entire style because again you want to find your own style, but you're just taking inspiration from other people. Number three is mood boards. Mood boards, they definitely help out a lot. I have not made any mood boards on cardboard or in big form, but I've made mood boards within my phone. Basically, I screenshot the photos and I would add them to an entire folder in my photo gallery. All you have to do is go either go on Pinterest and you can add different clips to like a gallery or you can go to your photo gallery and do the same exact thing. Now, I've done that a couple times, but a lot of them always get deleted because I began stressed and I just, I don't know, I began stressed and I'd be like, oh, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Basically worried about the next man when you shouldn't even be doing that as far as you trying to find your own style. So mood boards will definitely help because you can put a lot of different pieces on there. And then once you have all those pieces lined up together, you'll be like, boom, I can put this together, this together, this together, this together, this together. This will generally help you out with basically having a sense of style, starting your sense of style, basically being able to put stuff together. Now on to the fourth tip. This one, I honestly did a lot of my actual style is trial and error. You have to be able to put on an outfit and go out 
to either take compliments or have people not like your outfit now this also people might also get confused well why do i have to worry about what other people think if you're trying to find your style and you're trying to you know embrace something different people might just be the key for you helping that if that makes sense what i mean is don't actually care about what they're saying but if they're giving you a congratulations or they're like giving you an okay that this fit is fire keep running with that keep running with that style and keep running with similar fits like that because as me when i started getting into fashion maybe like 2017 2018 i started shopping at h&m and i would come i would come into school and people would hype me up people i'm not gonna lie people would gas me up and that just gave me way more confidence which is step number five that just gave me way more confidence to just keep dressing like this and keep you know going along with this fashion stuff also if you want to post a picture on instagram in that outfit look through the comments a lot of people are gonna comment and if they keep commenting if they keep commenting fire emojis or nice fit or this is hard then like i said keep running with that style with that outfit now if people are disliking your outfit then honestly if it's affecting you to the point where you actually like the outfit but other people don't like it and you like the style but other people don't like it that's when you just don't care about their opinion that's when you don't care about their opinion honestly that's when you just don't because again you're finding your style your style your style i'm gonna say your style this is your style so if you like your style don't care about what other people are thinking about your style just keep moving forward but like i said trial and error only helps sometimes if you're really trying to find your outfit and you really need the acknowledgement or you really need the congratulations from other people now like i said the fifth one is confidence you just have to be very very confident in your outfits you have to be very very confident with what you wear like it's just like any other thing you have to be very confident in what you produce and what you put out when you're making outfits you're basically a product of yourself you're showing yourself all of your advertising yourself. You have to be very confident in you advertising yourself. When I was younger, I would be so confident in my outfits. My outfits, I would go, I would walk out the door with the different, most different thing on and I would just be so confident. I'd walk into school so confident. And maybe when I started getting way more into fashion, that's when my confidence level kind of, you know, kind of hit a tumble only because I started to realize, well, I'm not the only nigga that can dress out here. I'm not the only one that could dress. I was starting to see a lot, a lot of people dress the same way I was dressing or a lot of people dress better than me and it was just bringing down my confidence level but that I had to bounce back and this is why I'm switching my style because not that I'm trying to shift away from everyone else because a lot of people have the same style let's be real no style is original to the point where somebody else doesn't do it so I just needed a shift I needed an entire change and I'm actually happy with what I'm going with I'm actually happy with my style right now um but like i was saying my confidence level is not where it used to be when i was younger because when i was younger like i was saying in high school and now not a lot of people were dressing like how i was dressing a lot of like maybe two or three of my friends were dressing how i was dressing and they were helping me with my inspiration as well but when i started getting into college that was a whole different ball game you either had to pop up for class or you just was one of the kids that just looked bummy is that that's that's the real honest truth to be honest truth but let's go over those steps again step one go to your closet and take out all that old stuff that you no longer want anymore step two go find fashion influencers and take inspiration from them step three make mood boards to help you create pieces and actually get a sense of how you style stuff step four trial and error basically go and try out things that you never really tried out and see how people react to it and number five the biggest one be confident be confident in yourself i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope that these tips were very helpful for you guys to help you find your style let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do more expanded videos on each step because i definitely can because like i said i am going through an entire shift in my style so a lot of this is very helpful for me as well because there's a lot of tips that i've used it find my new style and go to my new style don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn that post notification bell because i am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2020 going into 2021 so peace